know your planet our earth is a unique planet it is the only planet in our solar system that has water and air our earth has land masses and water bodies the large land masses are called continents the large water bodies are called oceans in ancient times people believed that the earth was flat and had steep edges Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer, sailed around the world and proved that the Earth is round. Pictures taken from space have also proved that the Earth is like a sphere. It is round but is slightly flattened at the top and the bottom. A globe is a simple and accurate model of the Earth. It shows the distribution of land and water on the surface of the Earth. We can also see the correct shape, size and location of the continents and oceans on a globe. We cannot always use a globe to study the earth. This is because a large globe is difficult to carry around. A globe is small and all the details of a place cannot be shown on it. We cannot make a globe for a part of the earth. Only one half of the earth can be seen at a time on a globe. A map is a representation of the earth's surface or a part of it on a flat surface. The word map comes from the Latin word mapo which means a napkin. Gerardus Mercator, a Flemish map maker, was the first to publish a collection of maps in the form of a book. A book of maps is called an atlas. The earth is spherical in shape and its surface is curved. A curved surface cannot be shown correctly on a flat surface such as paper. So, it is not possible to make an accurate map of a curved surface. However, small areas can be represented fairly accurately on maps. This makes maps useful tools to study the earth. There are different types of maps. Physical maps show the physical features of a place such as mountains, plateaus, plains and rivers. Country states and their capitals are shown on political maps. General information about climate and rainfall of a region is shown in climatic maps. Besides these, there are maps that tell us about the industries, wildlife, minerals, soil and forests of a region. Maps give us a lot of information about a country or a place. Every map has some basic features. They are as follows. Directions All maps follow a system of directions. The four major directions are North, South, East and West. The top of the map is North. The bottom of the map is South. East is to the right and West is to the left. The directions on a map can also be shown by an arrow marked N which points towards the North direction. The other directions are then easy to find. We can also mark the four intermediate directions on a map. Northeast lies between the north and the east. Northwest is between the north and the west. Southeast is between the south and the east. Southwest lies between the south and the west. Scale It is not possible to show the actual size of the earth on a map because the earth is too large. Let us suppose that the ground distance between Delhi and Agra is 200 kilometers. It is not possible to show these cities at 200 kilometers from each other on the map. Therefore, this distance is represented by a smaller unit, say 5 centimeters on the map. The ratio between the distance on the ground and the distance on the map is known as the scale of the map. In this case, we would write it as 5 centimeters is to 200 kilometers. Maps are always drawn to scale. Symbols there is not enough space on a map to show mountains, rivers, lakes, bridges, dams, temples, churches and railway tracks. However, a map without this information would not be useful. Different symbols are therefore used on a map to give us this information. For example, the land boundary of a country is shown by thick dashes and dots in black. A city is marked by a small circle. Colors. We use different colors to show various things on a map. Generally, maps follow a common color scheme. 
For example, on a physical map, water bodies are shown in shades of blue. Light blue is used for shallow waters and a darker shade of blue for deep waters. Plains or lowlands are shown in shades of green. Highlands are shown in shades of brown. A key is given on a map to help us understand the color scheme and the symbols used.